I'm Dave Ford and this screencast I'm going to show how we can link data from one Google spreadsheet to another. Now one really good use for this in education could be if you are using Google spreadsheets and uh, you want something like an, an external verifier to have access to certain parts of that information but without seeing all of the other information. Uh, this technique can be used. Uh, we can also use it as a way of getting information from a Google form all the data will come into a spreadsheet um, and we then want to copy it out so we can do stuff with it but without altering the original spreadsheet that's collecting the data and it's relatively straightforward to do so here I've got a, a Google spreadsheet here I've just created a simple table containing country capital currency uh, which I've filled in here and I want to pull that data into a completely separate sheet what you'll notice is that this is currently set as being private only to me, so I can keep this private, uh, which is my master sheet. If I then go to this tab here, I've just created a blank template or a blank Google spreadsheet, and I've saved it. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter a formula into this top cell. Now the formula is import range. So if I type in import range, it tells me I need to have two things. I need a spreadsheet key and then the sheet range. Okay, I'm just going to go back a second. If I go back to my first document, okay, and I just move this down slightly, uh, what we'll see at the top of the URL, there's a bit that says key equals, and if I go right, it goes forwards until it says and hl equals n. Now I need the bit before the and. Okay, so that is the key for this spreadsheet, yeah? That combination of letters and numbers is the key. So I'm going to copy that, control C. I'm going to go back into <coughs> my document. So it's import range, open bracket. I then need to put inverted commas and I need to paste that key. Okay, and then close the inverted commas. I'm then going to do a comma open the inverted commas again. I need to put the name of the sheet, so if I just flip back and I just slide it back up to the top, you'll see here oops, that I've called the sheet data. Normally it would be sheet 1 if you haven't changed it, but I've called it data in this case. And so I'm going to call it data, exclamation mark, and then I'm going to do the cell. Now because it's copying the sheet exactly as is, I'm going to do A1 colon, and then I'm going to do H2 2000. Okay, now what I'm doing is it's going to copy a much bigger area than it needs, but it means that I can expand the sheet without having to change this formula. Yeah? So it's going to copy um, all the cells within the columns A to H and then down for 2000 rows. So I've got plenty of space for this to expand in the future. And if I press enter, you'll see there in front of our eyes is pulled through that data from the existing sheet. Now, if I go back to my other document, and I add a country in here. Okay. Now there is a slight time delay, but um, within a few minutes, that term will enter in here automatically or pull through. Having got this new spreadsheet set up, I can then change the formatting so I can highlight things, make them bold, etc., automatically. And if I come down, I've got the option here of sharing this sheet with other people, like an external verifier, etc., without them having to have access to my original sheet. And that's how easy it is to pull data from one Google spreadsheet into a completely separate spreadsheet, which has different people and different uh, permissions, etc. And there, as you see, we've just seen that data get pulled through um, that I've just entered. So if I just bring up on the screen, um, if I scroll down, this is the... Uh, structure of the formula that you need, it's equals import range, open brackets, and then with inside inverted commas you need the spreadsheet key, and then a comma, and inside another set of inverted commas you need the sheet name, exclamation mark, and then the range that you want to pull through.